you guys asked for it, here it is. Welcome back to another episode of the Gruesome Garage. Today, we're gonna be doing a little plowing with the Jeep, showing you guys how well it works. So guys, we only got a few inches, but this is the perfect kind of storm for this kind of Jeep. You don't want anything really <clears throat> much more than eight to 10 inches or else the Jeep isn't heavy enough to really push it around. It's fine on flat, but as soon as you start going up hills like we have around here, it's terrible. That's what happens in two wheel drive. Can't push it up anywhere. See what it can do in four wheel. easier in four wheel. So really, the driveway is like this. Just gotta push a little snow out from the garage and you should be able to do the rest. This thing likes to get into nice tight areas and it's our favorite little thing for driveways. minutes later and this driveway is ready to go so guys you've seen this thing in action a little bit and uh, you know it was only a couple inches of snow nice easy one but I just want to talk about why I think this is one of the best plow vehicles I had a 90 something F250 single cab with a plow it was all right but um, I don't know, it just didn't, you can't turn like you can in the Cherokee. It's longer. I don't know, it just didn't, it wasn't as easy to plow with. There's a lot more, you know, you gotta watch where you're backing up and everything. This thing, it can, it doesn't turn on a dime, but it, you know, you can really navigate with this thing. It's nice and small. It's heavy enough, kinda, that you can push a lot of snow. You know, a foot is probably the maximum. Then you really gotta, either hammer the pile or start chipping away left and right. But one of the nicest parts about this is the parts are cheap as dirt for it. You can get them anywhere, junkyard, auto parts store, you can get them the next day, you know. You, something breaks, 90% of the time, chances are you can fix it. Transmission goes, it's probably 100 bucks for an AW4. You know, the motor, you could get a motor for 200 bucks. Really simple to work on. So much information out there about them. So if anybody's looking to get into plowing, you don't want a big monster truck, you know, a crew cab eight foot bed with a plow on it. I highly suggest starting with something like this. I'm sure the Wranglers are good too, but they're out of my budget. They're way too expensive. This thing we picked up for 500 bucks, probably put another thousand into the cooling system and stuff. A couple other gaskets, all that kind of stuff. 
refreshing the head. Yeah, got that. Had the head refreshed. We wanted to make sure it wasn't cracked. Needed a head gasket. Um, then the plow set up. The plow we bought for a thousand, and then the frame for the Jeep was like three, four hundred bucks, and a wiring harness two hundred something. And you know, a couple thousand dollars later, you got a nice plow set up, nice reliable engine, drivetrain. I don't know. I think it's the best bang for your buck when it comes to plowing. Not these big honking pickup trucks. Unless you're, you know, for driveways. Driveways. If you're doing parking lots, I don't know, this is too small. But it is perfect for these New Jersey driveways. Like these driveways right there. We're coming into a few more, we'll show you. This is kind of like the areas we plow. And these driveways are tight. They're small. There's always and cars in them. And there's not a lot of room to push the snow. So you have to use something small and easy to turn around in. Let's do some more plan. as soon as I put the camera down for one second to shovel this kid decides to find the pole at least Cherokees are a dime a dozen what a 
sad little jeepy now. Well, if you're gonna break something, it's usually always at your own house. So, this is the plow Jeep. Greatest plow vehicle ever made. I'll let you guys decide that. But let me give you a quick, simple rundown of what we have here. Dana 44 rear out of an older Cherokee, bolt in. This brake conversion from Terraflex, we bought it like that. 456 gears, which grenaded. The last storm, had that fixed. Dana 30 in the front, 456, uh, I think they're chromoly shafts. They look funky. They don't look like stock shafts. Um, simple three inch Rusty's lift kit. Rusty steering in the front, tie rod end steering. Uh, heavy duty Rusty coils in the front. Actually works really well with the plow. When we take the plow off the front tire than the back. But oh, we could fix that with shackles and play that whole game, but it doesn't matter. We barely drive this thing. Rear is full old, old Skyjacker leaf packs, three inch leaf packs. Uh, AutoZone special shackles, whatever, auto parts store. Western, six foot, six foot six, uh, ultra mount. Rough stuff sure, edition. Mount, whatever, it's the old style. Yeah. She's a rough stuff plow, you know, Swiss plow. Nice seen some, everywhere. Seen some rough stuff. Yeah, but works fine. So, listen, tune in next time. Maybe we'll smash this thing even more. Maybe we'll sell it. Maybe we'll put an LS in this one. Let us know.